the audience for this course. Uh, I'm, you know, the course is specifically uh, tuned for freshers who actually don't have work experience in uh, business analysis. Okay, so uh, I'm focusing on fresher engineers or people who are experienced in other industries uh, and planning to move into the IT industry. Also, the technical guys who actually want to move from a programmer role to a uh, technical role uh, from a pure business analyst, right? So these are the kind of people who generally uh, come into a business analyst course to learn to learn a business analyst course, and that's where uh, we are focusing on that. So we are focusing on the needs of these kind of uh, target audience. Okay, yeah. Training material, I will share all the presentations what I have used. I will give you a lot of rating material as well, like the business analyst book of knowledge and a lot of other materials depending on the topic what I am covering. There were lots of templates what I will be sharing you because you, know, you need to have a good understanding of what is covered. Now, these templates are very generic in nature and cover the most of the uh, you know, things which needs to be covered in that, like a business requirements template is. Right? So what, what what should get into your business requirements document? Right. Similarly, there could be a traceability matrix. Right. You could have a status reports. You could have your uh, use case templates. So there are multiple templates which I will be sharing it with you, and we'll discuss that in the detail when we are covering each of these topics. Right. But also another important thing is I will be sharing a lot of interview questions when I'm covering the topics. Like now when we are talking about the top typical uh, knowledge area. Right. What are the questions you can expect from that? That is what I uh, I'll try to bring that out during that, so that you know you can focus your attention and then make up notes over there as well. Right. And uh, apart from that, you can even record the sessions, and you know we can uh, uh, I can clarify the doubts wherever you have on a daily basis mm -hmm. as well. Right. So that could be the you know overall uh, uh, you know course outline. Any doubts? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think we can particularly be said that we will record the questions. Uh, so we are going to record the questions or we need to record the questions? Sorry? Uh, you are going to do uh, recording for, for us? Uh, yeah, I think that should not be a problem. I think you can even record it. So uh, let me check with these guys. I can share it with you. I even have the previous uh, sessions recordings as well. Right? So talk to uh, that should not be a problem. We work out on the mechanism of sharing the recordings and all. Should not be a problem. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, actually, I'm looking to a certification on it. So, is that good for you no? Know, is that good for good for me to do a certification or this? You know? For certification? Yeah. Do you have work experience? I don't have any work experience. I'm, I want to do a certification no, see, foundation level. So the CBAP certification, even for foundation, I think you'll have to, I mean, see again, if you're looking at a business analyst, you just need to have a good understanding about this. Now, if you're looking from the C, uh, you know, certification value point of view, it's only used when uh, you know you have that work experience and they consider it for the senior roles. Right? If you're running with a business, fresher kind of role, that certification, I would say, you know, is of minimal value, or you know, most of them would not ask, right? Okay. So, uh, I would say, you know, first understand the topics, right? Mm -hmm. What needs to be done, and then you can take a decision. So, you'll be in a better position whether you know uh, is it required or not. So, in this point of time, I would say, you know, get the knowledge first, okay. and then you can decide, right? Unless you unless you you know understand what a business analyst is supposed to do, and there is no point of talking about certification. Right? Yeah, that's the next level of uh, you know decision which you'll have to take, whether you want to go for it or you know you can try for a job without that. But usually the CWAP certification again it, uh, it got come <laughs> you need to have uh, experience to take the course uh, certification, right? And uh, yeah, so that won't really help. Unless you have that experience, okay. Okay. Uh, think from that point of time. Okay. But uh, because you have a fresher MBA and then you have the supply chain expertise, right? Mm -hmm. so it's easier for you to focus on this kind of project side of projects, I would say, right? Because yeah. people generally, you know, have this uh, typical like they, if they have this, uh, you know, VFS focus, like you have a 
Indian finance, it's easier to get into this banking kind of projects. You have the supply chain focus, and that's a huge market for the supply chain implementations, right? So this implementation, this uh, course will tell you how to go about an IT project and what is the typical role of the IT business analyst. And you also have this functional knowledge, right? right which is another skill uh, which would help you if you are a business analyst, right? So understanding of the business would definitely help you because you can interact with the client and understand the requirements easily, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, uh, my advice would be, yeah, yeah, good. Uh, so, uh, once, uh, once we finish the business management course, so mm -hmm. uh, what path we can choose? Like, is it only for IT companies, or is only for something else? Like, so any any uh, restrictions? Uh, see, I would say you know, that there won't be any restrictions, but it's an opportunity you'll get in either you know IT companies. So that's where the maximum number of people will join. Right? Okay. So the course is focused on uh, uh, IT project implementation. So you have a clear understanding about the business analyst role, right? Okay. And uh, for you specifically, you have the supply chain experience and yeah. knowledge, right? Yeah. So you know, focus on those companies, right? So what are the companies kind of roles which require supply chain expertise and a business analyst for? So we have yeah. to, you can even just look at the job portals, you will find it for yourself. Right? Yeah. So I would say you know it's a say uh, I mean it's an old for me. You can easily focus on this supply chain uh, kind of business analyst roles and it will be easier uh, for you. I mean your kind of interview should be you know a mix of both uh, BA skills as well as uh, domain functional knowledge. So when you yeah. actually prepare for your interviews. So make sure that you have, uh, you know, brushed up both of these, uh, uh, you know, topics. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. So once you're getting into a business analyst, you can actually, you know, choose any of these four parts. Right. You can get into consulting. Like you know, in your case, you could get into supply chain consulting. Okay. Like, you know, how process consulting or IT consulting? What are the typical systems you should have? How can you uh, make the systems more efficient? Right. So, so that's the kind of work you'll be doing, right? You could, if you're more interested in project management kind of roles, right? As a business analyst, you're coordinating a lot of stuff, and uh, you know you could learn a few more things to get into the project manager role. So I, I'll bring out those aspects, right? So okay. what are the overlaps between a business analyst and project management? We'll talk later, and yeah, you could get into business development or a pre-sales kind of role, where you would actually work on the proposals. So new opportunities coming in, you'll write a proposal showing that this is a solution, what can be offered, this will be the pricing, right? So you know, more exciting work kind of work because you know you'll find uh, getting more business and you know if you if you have that play for sales and uh, you know uh, revenue generation, you could get into business stuff. Right? Yeah. Or if you, if you still fo want to focus on a business analyst, you get more complex projects, you get a team of business analysts under you and you grow it by them, you know. Business analyst, right? So, so these are the various career paths you can uh, choose as a business analyst. Okay. So, so these are all are different from each other. So, consulting, project management, business development. Yes. yes. So, so I, would, see, I think uh, what I would suggest is look at this particular role of a business okay. analyst. Work for a couple of years. So then you will understand where your interest would lie. Right. Also, okay. okay. in that you know. You have a good understanding of the subject, and that's where that's what you want to work on. You get into consulting, right? Or if you actually okay. enjoy the work of a business analyst, you could get into senior kind business analyst kind of roles. You could, you know, have a team of business analysts under you, right? I feel that you know, sales is a kind of thing which excites you, right? Getting new projects for the company, or you could get into business development or pre-sales kind of role, right? So it depends on your interest. So the avenues are there, but you know, you can get into any of these four, but you know, you have to focus on what your interest and your key strengths are. Okay. Okay, so, so these are the, uh, again, these three are the different uh, career paths you need to take uh, yeah. uh, a subject knowledge from. The, yes. Uh, Once you get into business analyst and you know, maybe two, three years down the line, you can choose any of these. Okay. So, Thanks again for your understanding about that. Yes. So what I would cover in the next session is typical, you know, how a typical uh, industry would work, right? Client organization, IT organization, the project structures, 
various SDLC models, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll spend a couple of sessions on this, so that gives you a clear understanding of the various, uh, you know, uh, uh, models of project execution and how are the teams organized, who are the various other team members, how do you interact with them, what do they want to do. So it gives you a, you know, understanding about the working environment. So when you actually get into company, you know that, you know, these are the various rules and I need to interact with these people, right? So you're not out of place uh, when you actually yeah. get into this room. Okay? Yeah. yeah, so that's it. Uh, I think, you know, uh, make up your mind. Maybe, you know, tomorrow we can start off this session, right? So that is it. Anything else you want to know? Or, uh, I mean, you find this session useful or you have a good understanding of the business and this role and what you can expect from this course now? Yeah, yeah, it's it, exactly fine. Yeah. So, um, so from tomorrow, same time, it's at 9 o'clock for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah.